well, uh, technically you have many places where they can be obtained. Uh, the main one, the favorite one I will talk about, uh, will be Department of Justice, Spanish Department of Justice, for instance. Has the data? Yeah, they have uh, much more data than uh, UK have. And it could be a good opportunity for uh, Department of Justice or UK Department of Justice to collaborate. So the Spanish Department of Justice has a lot more data than we have in the UK. Yes. And they have data about the UK? Of course. Of course? Of course. Are they the only ones who have the extra data about the UK? No. You also have, of course, French that uh, were the first to transmit you this part. So, so the French still the French, hold more detail? They have more detail than you and less than Spain. So are you saying that other banks were knowingly collaborating with HSBC? This is, a, this is the meaning of offshore banking. You have a, a web of banks working together. And uh, this will be a great opportunity for everyone, for public awareness, you know, to understand what means offshore banking. Which, can you say, which other banks to your knowledge, were cooperating with HSBC? You have hundreds. You have hundreds of other banks. Potentially illegal activity? The same uh, clients that were in the bank. So are you saying, which other banks, can you name them? In HSBC. Can you name any of those other banks? No, there is no interest. I don't have to do that. So you first contacted HMRC, you said, in 2008? Yeah, first in the that I did were in 2008. Yeah. And who, who did you talk to? I had many person, even by phone, you know. They, are, they were your clients. They said, well, you know, you can fill up a form uh, explaining for one person, you know. But uh, They asked you can't. to write a form, yeah, fill in a form. they say, you can, or for one person, or two, or three. It was about that. It was not about uh, just sharing the the audit information. Did you say I've got all this information? Of course. And, and they say, I, she say, I'm sorry, I don't know what to do. When you were in Geneva, the chief executive of the bank was Stephen Green. Mm -hmm. Do you think that he knew and his executive team knew? Do you have no evidence? Doubt. There is no doubt. I, I, do you have evidence the only, the that only, proves that they knew? You know, or uh, you just suspect you know, they he's knew? A good, he's a good, um, he was a good um, minister, right? Do you imagine that he could have been a good minister, having no information and no knowledge about what is happening in his ministry? I'm asking you. This is so evident. Everyone in the bank, from the bottom to the top, every manager in the top decided not to change it until recently. Well, John, it's worth pointing out that uh, those are only allegations about Lord Green. When I asked Hervé Falciani to provide any evidence, he wasn't able to produce any. Lord Green, for his part, throughout this whole Ferrari, has chosen not to comment. He hasn't said anything. HSBC, on the other hand, has said that it has fundamentally cleaned up its operations in Switzerland and stamped out any bad behaviour while HMRC, the tax man, says that it acted on the information as quickly as it could as soon as the French handed it to it. Siobhan, in Paris, thank you very much.